everybody, this is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And I'm at Ibis Pond right now. Look at the silhouette on the right. This is a female Ibis, and the baby is to the right. And it is a bit cloudy out, but what you were seeing, look right there. That is a baby white Ibis. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can see that, you know, it doesn't have a lot of feathers. And I'm sure it's probably just a couple weeks old. It's interesting out here that there's a, you know, many levels of when the chicks were born uh, of how big they are. Some are already standing up in the nest, some are already, you know, out of the nest, but this is amazing. So that's a white ibis, and just so you can see what's going on completely. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy, holy mackerel, this is an alligator, guys. Holy mackerel. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you seeing this? Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I am filming a live situation here, guys. Oh my gosh. That is... There There goes the gator swimming away. Holy mackerel. I, I can't even believe you guys are a witness with me. That is just insane. Um, I'm I'm at Ivis Pond. I'm, I'm, I'm just in shock right now. I, I heard a... Um, you know, splash earlier, and I thought, oh, God, is this bird okay? Let me zoom in. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Save yourself. Oh, let me see what it is. I can't even tell. Oh, guys, it's a baby white ibis. Okay, it looks like it saved itself from falling. Thank God. But that was just amazing. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this live action here at Ibis Pond. Oh, the little baby saved himself. You know, that's the problem is the gators protect the birds from, from raccoons getting over to the center part where the birds are up in trees, but this is the problem, is if they fall out, the gator knows it's going to have a meal. So, all right, signing off live, it's Karen Martz from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina.